my job is to take care of Daniel, not to take care of me, but I have to, right? Somebody has to, or I'll just... Ah! <laughs> So it's Wednesday, Wednesday. I'm going for a follow-up from my nose doctor appointment. I made a video a couple weeks ago about um, when Thomas went to the nose doctor with me and supported me. So I'm kind of sad because I don't have anybody here today with me. But um, just like a sinus thing. Anyhow, it's really hard for me to take care of me. Really, really hard. So I'm not sure if it's because I'm psychologically deranged and uh, messed up from all these years of caring for other people um, and not for me but yeah feeling kind of today so my sinuses are really a mess I mean I can't tell you I think I'm real sick <laughs> but I am here it is absolutely gorgeous but I'm sad because the trees are changing which means fall is coming and um, I don't like fall because it means winter and I hate winter and I want to move to Florida so bad. That's my dream. Hi friends. So um, here I am at Quest Diagnostic Labs. I have to have a CBC Inca Panel Angioconv Enzyme BUN Creatine Said Rate Automated. Whatever that means. Um, I'm going to do my blood work and then I'm going to go right over there where there happens to be a Starbucks and uh, I just want the Starbucks. I don't want to get a blood needle blood thing stuck into my hand so uh, I hate it. boo-boo on my arm. See my boo-boo? Um, but it's done. They took like eight vials of blood. I'm like, what the? Anyhow, the nice thing is I saw a friend from town there and um, he's a minister and it was just really nice to see someone who kind of, like just seeing them uplifts your heart. Like, just like, ah! Going to get a coffee and a little something to eat to uh, cheer myself up. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Let's see what I get. Here we go. Uh, so as I was leaving to go get a cooked chicken and some milk, I ran into my husband coming home. So we're going to go together. And that's good because I don't feel like driving really. So I'm just waiting for him to change out of his work clothes. And we're in this car now. And, um, and milk. And milk. And Henry. Hi, Henry. Good boy. Hi. Good boy. Yeah, I'm using Rimmel Lasting Finish. I love this one. Already looking a little better. 
and I have lots of different blushers that I love. Um, I'm actually trying to get less. Just enough color, but it has like a shimmer, which I like. Um, and sometimes I, I'll do this and I'll go, what's the point? Probably be napping in three hours before Daniel gets home anyway. Anyhow, how about a little lip color? I don't have time to curl my hair, but I think I'm just going to pull it up again because I'm going to the doctor. And I don't know about you, but... So I just took another nap. This is like two days in a row. I've like crashed hard. Um, I went to the doctor or PA or whatever they call or I met a new doctor. She's nice. We're going to start taking off some of my meds and um, some of the ones that I've been on for a long time. And just see how I do without them. And then I've also been told that I need to eat healthy and exercise. Well, there's a big shocking revelation. Doctor's got to get a degree to tell you that. I knew that. Anyhow, uh, it's not been easy because I feel really sick all the time. Um, I'm hoping that it's not anything serious. But, uh, I don't know. I'm so like... Um, I did lose a few pounds though because I haven't been eating much for days. I've lost my appetite completely and, and that's really weird for me. Anyhow, I'm out here walking my dog. We're going to uh, enjoy a little outside time. And um, it's kind of all that there is. I have such a boring life. I have a very boring life. Somebody needs to thrill my life. Conversation. Literally, I'm not kidding. Somebody called and left a message on the phone. What? That they got an email. I hope you're really not in Turkey. It says you lost all your money, your passport, you were robbed. Just now? Please send $2,100 to. No, sir. Go listen to the message. That's what Bobby said. Bobby's like, is Julie in Turkey? I'm like, no. He goes, he goes, I'm getting this email that says that she was robbed in Turkey, on vacation in Turkey, and she got robbed. What is he Can like? You send me two, two months. Is he on drugs? Dollars. He knows it's not true. Oh, I was gonna say I want to go to Turkey. Oh, it says I'm in Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> you lost your passport or whatever. Anyone who knows me would know that I don't even ever, ever want to go overseas. You know, it's like what Turkey. Uh, Henry, what are you rubbing on there. All right, well. Easy, Roger. Sorry, I'm not that good of a throw, you know that. You can't even throw it like a foot behind me. Yeah, it's a part. This will happen. That's your sandwich, Thomas. Yeah, so this will probably work for you guys, right? Because you'll be see, see. So it's Saturday at 10. I'm just uh, at Dunkin' Donuts in Danbury because I went with Thomas. We did something special this morning. We, um, well, I helped the director of the Danbury Music Center um, videotape the kids, just a handful, to help. I guess they're doing a promotional video to really try to get more kids to go to their summer program next year. So uh, Thomas was one of the participants. So that was really nice. It felt good to do something different and productive and using my camera. So um, we're, she's just going to like edit my film and her film and put together something for YouTube at the end of the summer, end of the year, end of the, before next summer. <laughs> Go ahead. 
And next we have Thomas Hasselberger. And Thomas has to explain what he's playing because I can't remember the name of it. It's um, Black Widow, Act 4 by Jerk Carfield. And that's a marching band arrangement? Yes. Okay, Thomas, are you ready to march right through? Okay, here we go. that Thomas has enjoyed over the summers here at the Danbury Music Center has been working with the instructors and how uh, they're very patient with him uh, when he's playing his primary instrument as well as when he's learning new instruments and the encouragement that they give is uh, incredible. It's just been a wonderful experience for him. Great. You're sleeping in the car. Are you sleeping in the car? Are you so tired? After band practice, that you can't get out of the car? No, I didn't feel like doing that. Okay. As long as you're comfortable. I'm going to go back in and finish folding my laundry. Need to clean the garage. Too tired. Too tired. Today. <laughs> 